Hey, I'm Andy, and we're back in Evergrow, and we're gonna complete the second half of chapter four, or at least attempt to, so, uh, yeah, let's just dive right into this, and we're on puzzle six of chapter four, and we're just trying to try and finish the rest, so, oh, one more chapter to go after this, and hopefully, I'm not looking forward to the ending, because it's probably gonna be depressing, oh, there's a whiskey, there probably was a whiskey at the previous video too as well, but, uh, yeah, so we got holes here, and then we got some rocks, so we can't really, uh, we can start here maybe? Go, let's see, if we go here, then we have to go this way or this way, if we go this way, we're just there, and then there's another hole, and then there are these crossroads, which probably mean that we have to use that somehow. So if we go, let's see... Yeah, so I mean we have to either start or end in this square I believe because uh, there's no way to actually go to that square unless if you start or uh, end with it I believe I don't know it's an intuition but because if you st if you there's no way to get to here is what I'm trying to say uh, I think but uh, yeah I don't know we'll see. Uh, it's a lot harder than the previous five, that's for sure. Where do I want to go? So then we have to use the crossroads so then it doesn't start on these, so by process of elimination. And then by process of elimination of going with the crossroads, you can't really start on the top right corner. So that means uh, if you go like this, that means there has to be a way to go here to here. And if we go here, then here. And we can't really do anything here. Alright, I, I think I got it this time. So we'll start here. And then we'll just circle around the first hole. Like so. Then we can go up. Now so we have a post, so then we have to go left. Otherwise, we won't be able to go back to the left area. And then we'll just go down here. Then follow the path. And then we'll just go here. We can either go straight up or we can go right. If we go right, there's a hole, so we have to go straight up. And then, like I said earlier, then we can circle around this hole using the crossroads. And then we'll circle around the top right area with the crossroads. So yeah, I was right in thinking that the spot I mentioned before was the either a start or the end. It just was the end rather than the start. All right, that's all well and done. So, on to the next one. Alright, so there's more holes. And, uh... I don't know what else. Oh, there's a hole there, there's a hole everywhere. There's some crossroads. So, not sure where to start. We have to use these crossroads, so I'm assuming it will go like this. But then, yeah, so this half is, or this uh, portion is accounted for, so we don't start there. So it's, oh man, where do we start? So it's, it has to be within this area, I believe. Because once we cross over, then we'll just follow this path here, and then we'll follow this path. So. We start here to end here, and it covers this entire area, or maybe I'm just thinking wrong. Maybe if we follow the path, then we start here, and go around here, and then we can go here to here to here, and then we have to start around here. So, let's see. So let's do here, then we'll just go like the path I mentioned before, because the right side seems more or less obvious to me, but it's the other part that to me that seems not so obvious. But maybe I'm just uh, overthinking things. So this is what I mean here. So then we have to go up, and then we'll just follow the path and take the crossroads to cover up the top left loop. And then from here we just follow the path onward to the end. That wasn't as hard as the uh, previous puzzle, but uh, 
guess for, to each their own, right? Oh, now there's... Why is this... Oh, I thought that scissors was like poking the bunny. Is there like a gash at the bunny? Or am I just... Is that a shadow or a gash that that the bunny has? I don't know. Like the scissors there, so I'm thinking it's a gash, but it could very well just be a shadow. But I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's it's, it's very unsettling. But anyways, onto this puzzle. It looks very large. It's actually covering up a lot of the board. You can. It's covering some of the flowers. Uh, and there's some arrows here. So where do we start? This is gonna take me some time and search for a trial and error because it's not as obvious as the previous one, so I'll be right back. Alright, I think I got this. So we had to start here and then the arrow will just force us to go up. And then we'll just circle around this little area here. And then we can, because of the arrow, take this path. And now it's rather to go up or to go down, but we can't go really up because that's gonna block off the the tunnel and I mean the tunnel's there for a reason. It's not a red herring, I don't think. It's never been a red herring before, so we just have to go down here and then go left and circle around this hole. And then we'll just follow this path and this acts as a stop like the previous arrow did, so we'll just follow the path here. And then we'll just use the tunnel here to loop around this hole. Then we'll just go here. Now the crossroads here is kind of a red herring because you can't really uh, you can't really go past, otherwise you'll end up in the hole. So now let's just go around. And then we can just do a little loop-de-loop -loop in this little 2x2 uh, two two area. And then we can just go down. Hey, that took me a while. So, yeah, it's getting harder. I don't know how hard our chapter 5 will be, but uh, hopefully it won't take me too long. Otherwise, I'll have to do like a puzzle on episode, and that might just be really long. So, anyways, on to the next one. Uh, 4 9, I believe. Alright, so I think that's just a shadow and not, not a gash, but. Uh, the uh, surroundings looks the same. I don't know if anything's changed, but another big puzzle. Uh, where do I start? There's a crossroads here, and then I'm assuming we have to uh, do something about go around like this, and then maybe use the crossroads. So then there's also a, a tunnel that we have to use that's really close by for some reason. Hmm. Maybe if I follow this path, and then we can go here and let's see. So we have to loop around this, so let's work from there. Because if we land here, we have to land here somewhere because of the crossroads, then we can loop around. And to work backwards from there will mean to go this path. But do I want to use the ton, the, the tunnel, or do I want the crossroads? Let's go here to here. Uh, I'm assuming so. Then the, this will be here. Hmm. Oh yeah, because we we use it. Uh, we started from the tunnel. That's right. But then the tunnel will go here, and I think that that's how it is. I'm, hmm. I'll be right back. Uh, try and try this out for uh, off off recording for a while. All right. Yeah, I think the method I mentioned before worked, but I think instead of uh, yeah, I think the path I mentioned worked. It's just uh, I think I have to start here. Then we can just go down, use the crossroads to go down, and circle around uh, this little uh, section here. And then since the arrow's pointing left, we can go all the way down and then we'll follow the path like I mentioned before, except instead of working backwards, we're actually going forward this time. 
and then we can't really go up first because we have to cover up this uh, loop de loop. And then because of the arrow switching, it's gonna cover that loop de loop. And then we can just uh, follow the arrows. And then follow this path, straightforward path, into the tunnel, and then we can use the tunnel to exit and finish the level. So that is how you do four or nine. That was a uh, sneaky, uh, or not sneaky, sneaky is not the right word, it's more interesting and tricky, but that's how you do 4-9. A burden carried alone is not a selfless act. Uh, oh, there's the steps to the, is that a shrine or is that a, a house? Not sure, but a burden alone is not a selfless act? Or a burden carried alone is not a... That's... that's like deep, I think. What does that mean, story-wise? I don't know what that... what... what does it mean? Yeah, there's some steps here, a house or a shrine, I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is the last... the last uh, puzzle for Chapter 10. Like, I didn't even mean for this series to be like a walkthrough of these uh, puzzles, but... The story's got me so interested, like, I want to know and I don't want to know at the same time for fear of, uh, uh what might happen, but, yeah, let's look at this, uh, puzzle, so. Some arrows, there's some posts, and some holes, so I assume, uh, we're gonna either go around this hole, so we do it like that. There's also a hole here which we have to... So we have to... So either we start here or we end here because uh, you can't really escape from this spot uh, from what I've seen because there's two paths blocked and the third path is blocked by a hole so we either start here or end here so let's try starting here and then work our way around so because if we start here then that's no good because we're just gonna go into this hole so Let's restart that. So we have to work backwards. So we have to start end here. This is our end goal. So we have to go down and then there has to be like a path here to or we have to go down here, I believe. So it's like this, uh, if you can't see with the mouse. So it's like this. Then we can circle around to this post. So then the post will be from going here. But where do we stop? Because there's so many ways. There's a crossroads here, so let's assume that there's a path here. So then from going backwards, we can go from the post into this little area here into he going down. But since there is a crossroads there, so we assume that there's going to be like a thing there. So we will go down here and then our only option is to here. So then like that, we can follow the path that we made before. And then, uh, by going backwards, it, start, it looks like we're starting here. And then, going actual forwards this time. Hopefully it works out. And the last, the last puzzle isn't as, uh, ch ch uh, as challenging as the other ones, I believe. But, uh, yeah, let's just go around here. And the arrow will force us this way. I didn't even take the arrows to account, wow. That is uh, probably my mistake. I probably should have, but uh, let's see where it goes. We'll just follow this path all around the outer perimeter. Then we just take this. So yeah, it was uh, m my intuition was right because th this little square was a giveaway because you either had to end there or you had to start there, and you couldn't really start there because if you went down, you will end up in this hole. So. That was the last five puzzles for chapter four. Hopefully, hopefully there will be a bright ending, but I don't know. I don't think there will be. So uh, let's see. So there was a gash there. Oh. And now this picture is framed. Uh... The flowers are gone, the the tickets and everything are, is gone from first look, so 
Oh man, did, I don't know. It, it looks like the picture has been weathered too around the edges. So yeah, the bunny was gashed, but when did it happen? I think that. Hmm. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look and. So chapter 5, I'm going to read the quote in the next video if I uh, don't forget, but I'll, I'll read the quote now in case I forget. One lives in the hope of becoming a memory. Antonio Porchia. Porchia? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's go back to chap chapter 4, puzzle 1, just to see what the, uh, the bunny is. So yeah, the bunny still has the gash there. So that, that means I didn't even notice that uh, in the previous video, so let's see if it's in chapter 3. Wow. Oh, the bunny wasn't even there, so... Um, let's skip, go back to chapter 5. So yeah, this was the last half of chapter 4 in Evergrow, the puzzles anyways. And I'm gonna start chapter 5 sometime in the future, so... Yeah, this was part of Evergrow. Oh, like the music seems a little bit more uplifting, but seeing as how this is framed and there's nothing else, I can't say it's a good note. Even the bunnies patched up, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, until next time, this has been Evergrow. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.